I had to run to catch up with you. You've made impressive progress. The Sith's camp lies in ruins. I told Kelborn of your progress. The rest of your squad is already en route to Isis. Also, Kex checked our sources for any information about this place. Kex believes that this is the tomb of Freedon Nad. We knew it was somewhere on this moon. We had no idea how close it was to our camp. Uh, some sort of fallen Jedi. He conquered Onderon long ago and became their king. The royal line is directly descended from him. That part of Onderon history the citizens try to leave buried and forgotten. Freedon Nad was a dark Jedi. The stories say he was far worse than Revan and Malak ever were. This place is tainted, and the Sith presence here makes the danger great. I can taste the power of the dark side here. Freedonad must have been truly great to leave such an impact. The echoes of his life are still here. I feel secrets can be learned here. I am returning outside. My attention is required to keep the path to our camp clear. And he's gonna disappear? Yeah, he is. So, here we are on the inside of the tomb now. The time for practice is over. There are intruders in the tomb and they cannot be allowed to reach our master. The ritual must not be interrupted. I don't need to mention the price of failure. Men, follow me. What was that? Like, just kind of awkwardly stand there and just, like... Just, <laughs> oh, uh, okay. So there's a couple paths we can take here. We could just go straight. We should go right and left too, because there's stuff there. That's another one for me. You haven't even fired yet, Mira. God. So yeah, it's the same enemies as they were outside, mostly. Oh, nice one there, Vesus. Teamwork. I like teamwork. Yeah, so this tomb is basically just like, it's just, it's actually pretty big, but we're going to do all of it, because it's not that big. I miss my character. Hmm. Well, I'm probably having all sorts of fun, crazy times right now. Yeah, we got to play as Mandalore, this is just, this is just crazy. So down these side paths, there's usually, like, things. Really? Yeah, there are. There are things down these paths. Who would have thunk it? Actually, there's some puzzles down here, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, weakness to Mandalore. That's kind of a universal weakness. Well, I've noticed this, you see. Yeah, just charge in. Axe is glowing. That's that's what Mandalore does. Yeah, you tell him Mandalore. No one crosses. No one. No one crosses Mandalore. Mira, you haven't killed anything. Don't even. Don't even say that. This is like all Mandalore and like sometimes Zesis. Okay, you're here for their skills. Let's just say that right now. Hey, somewhat good weapons, I guess. Oh, let's maybe look at him. I don't know. Do I even need to? <laughs> so there should be a droid in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. This is a medical droid, kind of like on way, way, way forever ago on Frogus. It's actually not a bad idea to ac activate this guy, because it'll heal you. You know, I mean, if I was here, it wouldn't be necessary, but, you know, hey, I'm not here, so you guys yell how you can get. So here you have an ancient box that we can't just open up with security. You see, it's impossible. You see, I wasn't lying. So we got ourselves a puzzle here. A delicate operation. So let's just, like, open fire in its direction. That's what we were doing in the previous fight. 
So it has these six modules, one of them is broke. I genuinely am not sure how to solve this, but I know the answer. Yeah, it's just... One of them is wrong, and two of them are completely right. And it's one of them that says it's right, or something. It. It's a bunch of hooey, and it, the answer is C, okay? The answer is C. C is broken, okay? How do I know that? I, I don't know. And look, the box opened. How useful. Well, it's good. There is good stuff in this box. If I could actually open the box. Come on, Mir. You can't even open a box. Jesus. We got a crystal. It's pretty good. So, let's just head back because we've got another path to check out before we go through the main door. What's wrong? Yeah, let's have Mandalore. Like, just because you're in charge doesn't mean that I'm going to play as you, Mira, okay? This is a pretty neat tomb, I gotta say. This area of the game is kind of sweet. I like it. Oh, hey, look, droids. I wonder if they'll do slightly better than those guards did. No, they won't. The honor, is the honor of destroying these droids. Visas, really, you gotta lighten up a little bit. I know I mentioned that earlier, but I still mean it. Uh, you didn't stun either droid. I would have stunned both droids when I used that. How do you feel, Visas? You're inadequate to me, force power wise. Oh, hey, Mira leveled up. Good for her. She got force sensitive finally, so she actually has like force points. Because, you know, Mira is such a great Jedi for force points, right? Yeah, she's. She's almost on my level. No, she's not. I can't even pretend to say that. So, hey, here's a broken droid. We're going to activate it. May as well, right? I have all these repair parts doing nothing. And, oh, look, you guys leveled up. Good for you. Visa says kill now. Yeah. Yeah. Something feels wrong here. I, I don't think you should get any closer to it. Even I can sense the dark side here. This thing has to be part of the reason why the Sith are so interested in this place. I won't tell you how to do your job, but I know that I wouldn't get near it. Wait, who is she talking to in this conversation? I'm playing as her. Who... Also, I like how they kind of half caught that mess up with the subtitle, saying that she's not a Jedi, but her voice actor is not saying that. Uh, yeah, it's not sloppy at all, Obsidian. So here you can either control your emotions or not. May or may not work, but if you control it, then you can get rid of it and good things will happen. Uh, oh, hey, look, Mira actually did it. I'm shocked and amazed. I really am. Yeah, it, um... Uh, Take some force points away, but they'll just come back. But hey, look at that. You temporarily get some stat boosts. Because Mira really needs a plus four to strength, right? <laughs> yeah, that's going to do her a lot of good. Yeah. So look, another puzzle. Who'd have thunk it? This one's actually a math puzzle. It's pretty cool, actually. Well, if you like algebra. And I do! Ho oh, ho, I'll tell you something. Oh, I love me some algebra. Yeah. So you need to get this equation to equal 13. So all you have to do is tell it to do the right, you know, multiplication, subtraction, addition, division. First thing you want to do is you want to tell it to multiply. So that's 6 times 2 is 12. Then you have to subtract 8 to get 4. Yeah, this is, this is riveting gameplay. Then you want to add and then you want to multiply because it's 13. You just multiply 1 and it's still 13. Done! I love math. I was always good at math. Correct! Your math is absolutely accurate. Uh, and in this box there's that. Yay! Let's get going. 
Oh, look, remains. I better go through all of these. Hey, that's actually really good droid armor. HK-47 got himself a new present. Would we actually use him for the first time eventually? Yeah. Anyways, back up here. Let's just go through the main door now. Because there's so much more tomb. There's, there's so much more. And gotta, like, look at it and stuff. Yeah. So, hey. Oh. Looks like that droid that I activated came through here. Yeah, you see? You see? That, that's a useful droid to activate. There you go. You might want to, I'm just saying. Is that lava down there? <laughs> uh, it's like the checklist of evil hideouts. Gotta have lava, red lighting, creepy doors, Sith. Yeah, this is pretty evil hideout. I'm digging the evil hideout. Yeah. So the droid's like guarding the door. I'd appreciate if it could keep it patrolling, you know, going down these other corridors and stuff. That'd be nice if you could do that. But hey, I guess you may as well see these guys out of your mains. Oh, look! They don't, because they're Sith assassins. They don't have remains. Also, this door is locked, so we're going to have to find a way to open it. Now, there's two more paths out of this room. You don't have to go down both of them, but I'm gonna, just because I can, and because I want to get the experience. And because there is stuff down both of them, but... Both of them have a computer that will open the door. You just... Either one works. Doesn't matter. Just pick one. Why is little pots? Why isn't there anything in the pot? There should be things inside of that little ceramic pot. So I could take it and have an item and then that would make me happy. <laughs> Riddly? You're just riddling me with bullets. I'm fine. I'm Mandalore! Yeah. Is that guy yawning? Oh, he's bored. Let's give him something to have fun with. Jesus. That was like... That was like half his health. Oh, wow. Yeah, he, yeah, Visus has got a point there. You guys are really yawning a match for... Mainly Mandalore, but kind of half Visus too. Credit where credit's due. She's... She is killing some things. Anyone that has been marked by our masters can do it. Yes, you're getting the hang of it now. It's so easy. But how did they do it? You doubt our master's power. They have erased the minds of these beasts and made them our obedient servants. With an army of these, who could defeat us? No one, of course. Now the next step, the intruder is here. Beasts, attack. Really, who could defeat these bombers? Well, I know this guy. Uh, he's a Jedi Consular. You guys are wearing red. You're breaking sci-fi rules here. You really think that's a good idea? I mean, yeah, Visus is wearing some red, but she's got black on, too. She's offsetting it. You guys are mostly red. That's just bad. See how you're dying and, like... See what's happening? This, this is why. Yeah, well, um, weakness is... He's wearing red. He's weak to everything. Like, blaster bolts will veer towards you if you're wearing red. Jeez. So... Is there anything back here? Am I wasting all of my time? Yes, I am wasting all of my time just running around this thing. Whatever, let's activate the terminal, because... You know, hey... Let's have Mira do it, because Mandalore is... <laughs> he's a... he's an idiot! I mean, he, kinda, he can't... he doesn't know how to use a computer, he... Uh. And that's that. So now we get to backtrack. But hey, there's actually some stuff on the way. By stuff, I mean, like, a fight and a half. Oh, these guys are elites. Oh, snap. I, I better watch out. This guy is an elite trooper. It means he's really dangerous. Oh, hey, look, that droid's still killing things. Like that's like the one droid in the game that's actually a really good idea to activate. Yeah. Any remains? No. Let's move on. Do 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 do. Hey, look, an ambush. Hey, look, Dark Jedi. This should be slightly interesting. 
slightly interesting. Nah, I didn't think so either. Yeah, I didn't really mean that. That guy unarmed. Seriously? You didn't think to grab a sword or, or anything? It's like, oh, we got a Jedi, a Mandalorian with two axes, and some girl with a gun. I don't need any weapons for this. <laughs> I could take them. Maybe he can. He's actually, like, not getting hit. Seriously, the guy is unarmed. Kill him. <laughs> Mandalore, come on. Come on. This guy is un... Oh, that took a lot longer than it needed to. Yeah, well, hey. Oh, another Universal. We don't need that. We already got one of those. So we could go in there, but we're going to go across the other one because I want to get things. There is something over here. Yeah, he put up quite the fight. Oh, yeah, that was... Uh... Yeah, there should be some more guys. Really? I'm shocked. They actually have guards? What? Uh, amazing. Oh, hey, Dark Jedi. We should probably go fight him, too. Because clearly he's the biggest threat. I mean, he's going to live longest in this fight, right? I'm sure that he's going to... Oh, no, there he goes. Yeah, I was just kidding. I never, I, I'm not going to get over him doing the really uh, like acrobatic attacks with giant axes and heavy armor. It's just That's just completely ridiculous. In this video game about spaceships and aliens and stuff. That's that's the line. Mandalore doing power attacks like that is the line. Oh, way to go. They got hit, but the guy didn't, really. The two Jedi got hit with the horror, but the guy was like, nah. But now he's dead, too, so hey. Bonus points not received. Yeah, look, another cloud of dark energy over here, too. Yep, got baskets. Love me some baskets. Baskets are awesome. Yep, baskets. Oh, well, so it's this thing here. Yeah, why not give Mira that? You know, hey. We found the gun! Because we need more of those. Yeah, we don't have enough guns. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. So Mandalore will have it, but never use it. Ready? So useful. It's, yeah. So, oh, hey, let's try to get rid of this dark side energy, too. Oh no, it didn't happen. Oh well, this is what happens when it messes up. I don't know why you get dark side points. You tried to get rid of dark side power. That's evil, clearly. Uh, you, you, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, as you can see, that's what that does. So let's head back. Yay! It's necessary. Well, there is combat on the way. You see, look, there's these guys. And clearly they're going to succeed where the dozen or so other guys have failed. Where's that Boma going to fight Mira? Well, okay, I can see that. I mean, it had no chance otherwise, but even then. <laughs> I love that one. That's the best one. <laughs> Oh, Mandalore. Oh, what do you got? Oh, he had some stuff. Good for you. It's mine now. So let's actually head into the main area. Oh, wait, we have more combat. Yay. I missed the exile. Yeah, we should probably go for the Dark Jedi first. Because, you know, he's the toughest guy, obviously. He's not going to die in about four seconds. Clearly, he's going to... Oh, there he goes. Mira, you didn't. I'm not even gonna bother. She must just congratulate herself every time she fires her gun. I did it! I pulled the trigger and a thing came out of the thing! Yeah! Uh. 
Mira, you're silly. You know, it makes sense. And you're gonna die a lot, because we have got a tough boss coming up. Captain, we need just one more moment. We're almost through. Failure, Captain, will not be tolerated. Ooh. So, let's go and interrupt that, shall we? That's clearly the right uh, That's clearly the right move here. Come on. <laughs> Who wants to die? Yeah! Pretty sure he threw up the horns there for a second. <laughs> ah. Oh, Mandalore. I'm gonna miss you when I stop using you after this planet. Break the ritual now. You're too late. We have done what needed to be done. Soon, Onderon shall fall, and with it, the Republic shall die. But what is this? Uh, of course, the Force has guided you here. It echoes within you, yet I sense it is untrained. It is good you have sought us out. This tomb is strong with the dark side. Here is where you will take your first steps on the path to your destiny. What lies has your master spread? What have they denied you in their ignorance? The Jedi preach calm and serenity while wallowing in weakness and hypocrisy. They would have you become a puppet of the Force. They would have you deny the strength of your emotions, the strength of your own will. Can't you feel the power of this place? It echoes through you like a second voice. Accept it. Embrace it. The Jedi. The Jedi has no family, no childhood, no emotion. They are dead to the Force and themselves. They want drones, slaves to the Jedi Council. At least we live. We feel the universe around us. We are the masters, not mere tools of the Force. Can't you feel the power? Here, within the walls of this tomb. Just embrace it. Don't limit your potential. A shame. Instead of freedom and power, you have chosen death. So be it. So this guy is actually really tough. We gotta do something about that. Anything you got that'll incapacitate a dude, you gotta use it, because th this guy will tear you up. He has... he's pretty, pretty strong. And he is boring Mandalore. <laughs> oh yeah, Mira's dead. That didn't take long. Who called it? Who called it, huh? Right here, right here, come on. Yeah, so... His two little buddies are actually pretty strong too, but he's the big threat. Double blade of lightsaber guy, so... Uh... Oh well. At least the other guy's stunned for now. Let's just power attack this guy to death. Power attack this guy to death, Mandalore. I need you to kill this guy right now. Yeah. See what I mean about this guy being tough? We have to use healing items. Oh no, I only have 11 life support packs. Will it be enough? Uh, maybe not. Yeah. yeah, this guy has all like the improved stuff, but he's dead now. Could really use a hand here, Visus. Jeez, if you're gonna just stand there and be stupid, you may as well use heal a bunch of times. <laughs> She's healing Mira's dead body. I don't think that's gonna work, but hey. I'm not a Jedi, um, you know, hey. We won, though. Sweet. Good to go. I'm good to go. I only got killed, but I'm, I'm all right. So hey, we got a double blade lightsaber. Isn't that the first one we found in the whole game? Yeah. Oh, and look, it's Zarga. Yay! Let's go see what he wants. What you have done is beyond words. You fought like a Mandalorian. When you are finished here, I will take you back to the camp. You can let the rest of your squad know what you've discovered. Of course. Yeah, you don't want to just leave. You gotta look around. There's stuff here that you can find. Unique stuff. Important stuff. This is a Sith tomb, after all. There's gotta be some goodies back here. 
you see, look, there's like a pot and like a couple boxes. See, there's tons of stuff. Yeah, also there's a body in here and the sarcophagus. Move, Mandalore. The body of Frieden Nad and his short lightsaber. Yep. Not the best lightsaber ever, but it's not terrible either. Like a lot of those unique sabers, it can't be upgraded, but it does have some pretty decent attack power, and it can knock you down. It's a good weapon, but eh, I kind of wish that you could upgrade it, but hey, whatever. That's kind of it, though. There's nothing else really in here. Just make sure you sure it's the Sith Master guys, too. So, we finished up here in the tomb. And guess what we're going to do next time? Well, why don't we let Zarga tell them? What you have done when you are fit.